hi yeah so i'm back here um to talk again about high lts i recently did a video where i talked about high lts i mentioned that there are so many schools in canada that will not require you bring high lts if they want to give you admission so we have so many schools especially if you have studied in a country where english is the official language or where um, your previous education was actually done in english so but if you are applying for a visa you might need ielts this is not actually compulsory if the embassy requests or send a request to you and um, asks if you want to uh if you have an option to be routed through the nigerian student express then you will need to do high lts and for that program you need high lts you can use anyone either general or academic you know but it is not compulsory you must accept their request so if they push it to you and tell you that oh do you want to pass do you want your application to be passed through the nigerian student express you can tell them no so if you tell them no you still do not need high lts so that Nigerian Student Express is not a compulsory route that you must go through. It's optional. And the fact that you are turning it down does not mean that your visa will be uh, refused. I have had many clients who got that request from RLCC and um, they told me they don't do ILCS. And we responded back to them that they should um, route their application through the regular route, regular stream. And their visas were actually approved. Not one, not two, not three. Many of them. In fact, some of them who turned down the Nigerian Student Express stream got their visa visas earlier than those that actually passed through the Nigerian Student Express stream. So, the Nigerian Student Express stream is not compulsory. If RLC sends you a mail and um, asks if you want to, uh, them to route your application through, through that stream and you don't want to, you don't do ILTS, then all you just need to do is tell them that you don't want to use that stream. And that's all. So, ILTS is still not a compulsory requirement for especially for nigerians or for those who, uh, whose official language is english ielts is not a requirement for you to study it's not a compulsory requirement for you to study in canada thank you